Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Tonight, God is able to transform. Tonight, God is able to heal. Hallelujah. To transform and to heal. Apostle, you don't understand the gravity of my situation. That's why. It's your mind and your perception that is being enlarged by the power of darkness. When God comes, the Bible says the mountains skip. Skip. And he clears a way for you. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. I'll give us two prayer points before I begin to minister. And I want us to please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. The first prayer is you are going to ask the Lord. Listen carefully. You are going to ask the Lord to do something to your faith tonight. I agree and I concur that sometimes the prevailing challenges can be so great and so mighty. You will sit down and begin to wonder in our finite minds, how will God navigate this and bring and birth this miracle for me? Are we together now? This is where the spirit of faith comes. The faith of God. It says this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. You're going to pray, Lord, my faith is strong. I believe you. I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Tonight, my faith is strong. I believe that this is the night, the night when you transform, the night when you heal. The night when you deliver. The night when you turn my family around. Is someone praying? This is the night of your power. The night of your glory. This beginning of miracles. Did Jesus in the presence of his disciples and manifested his glory. Manifest your glory, O God. Father, help my unbelief. I reject unbelief. They limited God in the wilderness by saying, Can God make a way? Can God make a way? You are in ministry, pray. Tonight is a night when you expand, when you receive. You are in business, pray. Career, pray. You are in ministry, pray. For your family, pray. Release your faith. Hallelujah. Listen. Prayer point number two. The Bible says, Ye have not because ye ask not. You have not because you ask not. He said, ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete. Ask and you will receive. He didn't say give us any day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Listen, when you come to God, it is not only important that you are aware of who he is. But you must come to God stating specifically the way and the manner that you desire or the area 
that you trust him to step in and come through for you for every time jesus would meet with a blind man a lame man he would ask them what do you want that you are lame does not mean you want to stand you must be able to verbalize your requests you must be able to communicate listen i know that many of you have written your prayer requests but i want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with god open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight lift your voice and pray someone is talking to the lord communicate your expectation When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that breathe. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. It says the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with faith in your heart. Someone is praying, Lord, my ministry is about to catch fire. There is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life. There is an operation of the Spirit that must rest upon me. Is someone praying? I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. My life, I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is I will never be the same. Please look up. It is not very difficult for a man's situation to change. God is not a magician. You will need to release your faith with understanding. You are before the God of all flesh, the doer, the worker of wonders. He is truly a miracle worker. Please believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. They are not a fabrication of human intelligence. No. No. God can work miracles. God does miracles. God delivers. God heals. God lifts. God transforms. God sets free. That's what His grace can do. Never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never stay the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I 
will never preach to say, I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never see the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the atmosphere of God's glory, listen, don't wait until you are called by prophecy. Don't wait until you are prophesied upon. Let your heart be open to receive. Let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit. I want to pray now. Please listen. Listen to me. The power of God is very strong here. Let's work together now, guys. Deliverance, when kept within the boundaries of the word of God, is powerful. Listen, because for many of us, let me tell you this, I submit to you. Listen, please don't inconvenience the guests. The space is alright. Just, just let them be, please. Listen, it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept. That behind many tragedies are spirits. Please understand this. Behind many operations. Listen, when Jesus was going to calm the storm, every storm is made of two things, wind and water. You can see the water, but you cannot see the wind. Every storm is made of wind and water. There is no storm that is made of water alone. Jesus rebuked the water. He rebuked the wind and the water was still. There is no problem that is as a physical problem. There are spirits back of it. Whether it is financial, marital, spiritual. One of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital. No, sir. No, sir. There are spirits, more spirits than men on the earth. In one man, there was a legion. In one man. That's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits. 6,000 spirits in one man. Please listen to what I tell you. Your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around. And it, yes, there are principles here and there, but hear me, you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with. Are we together? There are, you can only judge situations by what has affected you. The one that has not affected you yet is there. But just because it has not happened yet, you may not know. So the secret is to address the spirits behind it. And not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there. Are we together? When we pray and minister to people, listen, we are we're a very, we're a very balanced, Bible-based ministry. And let me tell you this by the Spirit of God. You do not help men when you leave the spirits that is back of their situations to go back with them. Now, I know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of Scripture. This is not what we are talking about. We are talking of liberty that is provable. That you can walk out before the service is done. You are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. can be a man of God here 
greatly ministry you are anointed but things may not be working and you may just think the issue is just ministry ethics preaching well that is wonderful but let me tell you he said i desire once and again to come to you but satan hindered us it is not only angels that are on assignment there are spirits on assignment there are demons on assignment there are powers that are on assignment Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 What seest thou? Four horns These are the horns that have lifted up themselves Against Judah, against Jerusalem And against Israel That these horns have made it That no man doth lift his head He said but I have sent Four carpenters It's a reality Behind many families are spirits behind many medical reports are spirits behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits oh, oh, oh. shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago he was in ministry and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him and while I was talking with him as he entered my room I saw a spirit just entering with him and I looked at this dear gentleman lovely adorable wonderful person and I was politely going to hint him to say sir the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem and ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said no 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 don't talk to me about this and that I said that's alright no problem I respect you I do this let me just pray with you that's all I requested from him the last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray and then when he recovered from himself like almost an hour later on he got up and for the next three days this gentleman kept reaching me and said, Apostle, you have rattled my theology. What is this? Doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life. Listen, I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas. It's very strange. They were bound hand and feet, the Bible says, at midnight. They lifted up their voices. They prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake because God himself came. And then, listen, the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake, the chains by themselves fell. Immediately the chains fell. He said, all doors open. Not some. All doors. There was no use of key. The key was that chain. As the chain fell, the doors opened. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute. Father, if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation, it must live by the spirit and the grace of God. Lift your voice and pray. by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight in the name of Jesus every spirit that is not of the Christ that is back of the situation around my life my family, my business my ministry pray Hallelujah. You see, the power of God is already touching people. Listen, I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real. They are very, very real. Very real. Hallelujah. 
I have met so many spirits in my life. I've had so many encounters. That's not the basis of believing they are there. Scripture already tells us they are there. But let me tell you they are there. And they are not there doing nothing. They are there causing pain. They are there manipulating families. They are there projecting things that are not of the Christ. But the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's pray. I want to begin to pray now. Please listen. Whether or not you are an usher, I'd like you to help those under the anointing. We are going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering. Um, please participate in the prayer. Prayer is very powerful when done with understanding. Are we together? Now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people. Because there are real spirits behind people's situations. Hallelujah. First I want you to bring out now. I'm not going to say anything. God is giving me an instruction. The power of God, I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people. And these are spirits. And when that happens, the power of God will come upon them. I want you, whether outside or inside, just begin to bring them out here. We are going to pray and call on that name now. But the Lord is revealing to me. You will be very surprised. Some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. Except God is not God. There is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight. Please quickly just bring them out. I'm seeing the power of God. I don't know why God is giving me this instruction. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. It's time for your liberty and your liberty in full, in full by the Spirit. Establishing the victory of the Christ over every life, every destiny. Alright, we are ready to pray. Please lift your hands, let me pray now. I'm seeing fire. That fire is coming on people as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. As you shout that name, Jesus, I declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives, over bodies, over finances, over destinies, I invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant. It must go now at the count of three. Shout Jesus. One, two, three. Power of the Holy Ghost, bring them out in the name of Jesus. I 
command the powers that be by the blood of eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit. I come against it by the God of Jeshurun. Hey, Lakaposia, please bring them out. We release a sound in the realm of the spirit. We declare sounds of victory. We are still praying, my God. Chains. I'm seeing chains in the spirit. One more time, you are going to shout that name. Lord, if there is anyone here under any kind of chain, the Bible says to release them that are bound. As you shout that name, no matter how long that chain has stayed, it's time for you to be released. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father, for the honor of your word. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Over families. Over businesses. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard. I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard. And the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave. The spirit of Hades. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare right now. Anyone covenanted to the power of the grave. The covenant with death. The covenant with the grave. By fire. May that fire fall on you now. The covenant with the grave. The covenant with death. I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Be liberated now. Be free now. Haladuja li haskabaruda shalabranda sibaha. Rekadiza neha shalakutia. Hallelujah. Now listen. We are going to pray for the sick. But I'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lungs. Growths and lungs. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, every growth fibroids, malignant growth, cancerous tissues. By the spirit of the living God, let the life and the power of God touch you now. Let the life, help them please. Let the life and the power of God in the name of Jesus, I command those cross to leave those bodies now. I command them to dissolve now. Help that lady, please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Growths. I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone. Including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more Everyone here in front. 
in this overflow and all the overflows, I declare that the spirits that lay claim upon any aspect of your life, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I command them to leave now. Pat your load and go at the count of three. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Out of their destinies now. Out of their lives forever. Out of their lives forever. Out of their homes forever. Out of their bodies forever. Hallelujah. Please pay attention. We are still praying. Now, the Lord is showing me something that I don't see very often. I'm seeing an old gate and I'm seeing chains on it with a padlock. This is a sign of stagnation. You are here and mysteriously you have been in the same position. You try to move. You try to push. I'm about to smash that gate to pieces. Not to open it. To stamp it down. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Now help them please. Listen. I want you to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart. I decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men, by systems, by spirits, so that you cannot move. By this shout of the healer tonight, I declare every gate crushed and comes down now. Are you ready? At the count of three. One, two, three. I prophesy to you, move forward. Go forward. Go forward. Stagnation comes to an end. Ritro apakoto shala rekete kete kete parus kaba embreketo sheleto sabaka. Stagnation comes to an end. Retrogression comes to an end. Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing the name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry. Don't force and rush those who are standing in front. You are Bukola. Where are you coming from? Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. This my in the name of Jesus. This chain that I'm seeing be loose now. In the name of Jesus, I lose you from that chain. It is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. First bank. Let's hurry up, please. You walk. Who is that first bank? All of you are Bukola. Ma, let me speak to you. The grace for wealth. Stand up. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing currencies falling on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth. This, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the Spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these Bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you, one of you. It, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power of God. When that happens, um, I will just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? First Bank, you are a staff. Huh? No. 
You are not a staff of first bank. You are on contract. Is that true? You are on contract. I will still pray. This person I am seeing is a bona fide staff of the bank. I want to pray for you. Because I am seeing something that can cost you your job. Father, show this my dear brother mercy by the grace of God. Look at me, sir. I'm seeing a whirlwind on your head. I need to pray against confusion and pray against stagnation. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free now and you are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are observing the ladies. The power of God is going to come on one. That's the instruction God is giving me. It's very mighty anointing. When it comes on that one, I want to pray for them. Your father is a general in the army. Who is that? Your dad is a general in the army. I need to pray. We need to rebuke conspiracies. The Lord is showing me your father is a general in the army. Real army, military. Please, if you are that person, I want you to come. If you are that person, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. This is conspiracy. In the name of Jesus, over her family, let there be a mighty deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord himself give you testimonies. Very strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. There's no marriage. One, two, three, four, five. Five ladies. Nobody has settled down. Where are you? Please come. Where are you coming from, my dear? From Joss. I want to pray. You are five of you. All alive. Five ladies. No one has settled down. What do you do? Bank. Wait. Sterling bank. Sterling bank. You will leave the bank soon. Amen. Listen to me. There is another job that is coming for you. When that job comes, don't fight it. It is the will of God. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should go and retire now. But I'm telling you that another job is coming. Let's pray. It's not normal. We need to break this. I'm seeing three ladies in my vision. I don't know why there's only one person here. These five, five families. Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come and stand here if it's not. I will pray for everybody. Five families. None. Not one person has settled down. Ladies now. Don't cry, my dear. Jesus is in this place. Release the family now. Release the family now. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing coals of fire and I'm seeing a horn on it. Release the family now. There is someone here. This is a very mysterious thing that happens to you. In a very strange way. This happens especially when you pray for extended periods. Your whole body starts itching you in a funny way. You know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug? Chloroquine. That's what happens to you. Like physically you begin to scratch your body. I must pray for you. Why is she here? Please. You are the one? Come. Come. Madam, you too. Where are you coming from, ma? You are coming from Abuja. Come. We will attend to the photos you are holding here, eh? but for now, we need to pray for you. This is, this is not just evil, very evil. I have to pray for you. You too, my brother. Where are you coming from? You see, my dear people, I'm, no, I'm not saying if your body is itch, listen to the, the, the issue. I just saw fire, this rope, right down. Just like a sword of fire just passed. I don't know who that is for, but in the name of Jesus, let it bring emancipation right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. You believe in Jesus? I bring you life from this kingdom that we represent. Be free now from this demonic, satanic oppression. 
in the name of Jesus. Our dear auntie, let me pray for you. Just keep her there. Can you hold my hands, madam? I want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names. Help her. Be free right now. I cause the workings of darkness over your body and over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Five families, hold my hands. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let it be over. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my dear. I'm looking at you physically, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing an arrow inside your head. I need to pray. There is infirmity that has been projected in your body. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is that all right? Father, help this lady. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be free from this that does not name the name of Christ. I set you free from it now in the name of Jesus. Five ladies, I'll just lay my hands on you. Be free right now. Let the doors be opened. Be free right now. Kai, let her go. Out now in the name of Jesus. She's also here. Your dad is a general in the army. Where are you from? Gombe State. You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. I'd like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, preserve the life of this our general in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a family now, God is breaking the plague of death. The power of God is coming. I don't know whether they are inside or outside. The plague of death is being broken right now. There is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death. Please come very quickly. I'll just touch you. I don't know why they are here, but we have to hurry up very quickly. Just a touch. Believe by faith. It is over. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sir, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Abuja. From Abuja? Yeah. What do you do, sir? I'm a minister. You are a minister of the gospel. I want to pray for you. Where, where, where are you coming from? Where do you come your state of origin? Five. Do you plan to go this Christmas? I'm not yet. But I'm not. Huh? I'm, I, I went for operation. It's not a... Listen, that's why I want to talk to you. I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing... You were supposed to have died. It's because of the intercession of men that you are alive. But then, I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. We, anything God shows, we cancel. You get the point now? I'm seeing this man going in a bus. And I'm seeing a truck. I will not mention, I'm not being antagonistic. But the truck did not just shift your car. It climbed it. And everybody gone like that. You see, when God shows a thing, it is because of the strength he has put in his church. The power to change it completely. Are we together? I want to pray for you. You are very sick. And even the surgery has not solved the problem. Because what I'm seeing is still there. Please hold my hand, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, let this man not be given to the sword. Let him not be given to the grave. In the name of Jesus, I knock on the door of life and I speak to you, sir, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. I fortify you by the power of God's word and I declare death will be far from your dwelling. I speak that your going out is blessed and safe. Even your coming in is blessed and it is safe. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord show you mercy continually. In Jesus' name I pray. Family of five. I need to pray. Hold my hands. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah. 
In the name of Jesus, I lose you and your siblings. Everything that is an orchestration of darkness, I speak by the Spirit of the Living God. You are loose now. In the name of Jesus, I declare liberty. I restore dignity and honor. What is happening to you? I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going down here. There's somebody. The same thing is happening to someone there. The same thing God is doing here, God is doing to a lady there. I declare be liberated right now. In the name of Jesus. Please come, sir. Let me just touch you by faith. In Jesus' name, be set free. Come. In Jesus' name, be set free. 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 There is someone, I think you are in ministry, you are in overflow one. The power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now. Please carry the person and bring the person here. We have to hurry up. I'm seeing the power of God touch the person. Hallelujah. I'm about to release that grace for speed again. Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Shala superuskiata. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are easterners. This is, a, this is a sign and a wonder. When God shows me a map, whenever I mention that location, anyone who is oppressed within that location, the power of God comes on them. Right now, I'm seeing the east. The east. I release that power now. The Lord is bringing liberation. Eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra. The power of God is touching that woman right now. Who is the person? Mommy, you're welcome. One to pray. Ah. Not everything that looks like sickness is sickness. There are many things that are projections of darkness. Are we together? Mommy, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Help her please. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, release our mother. In the name of Jesus. Mommy, I command that infirmity, that plague and that yoke of darkness. Be gone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me just pray for these two people now. This lady, where is she coming from? Okay. There is, it will surprise you how the grace for intercession will come on you. This lady, this fair lady, I'm talking to you. In the name of Jesus, I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. May that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder. The Lord will show you things in your dreams. He will show you things in visions. Please bring our mommy for me. Let me pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, just touch her back for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now. This is not sickness. This is the spirit of death. I command the spirit of death, hell and the grave. To leave our mother right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Complete emancipation complete emancipation in the name of Jesus Christ 
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here. I don't know why, but this is what he's saying. Just right here to the wall. I'm seeing... I'm seeing people's stomach, the abdominal region. I'm seeing things like chains. Just bring those under the anointing as I'm talking. I'm seeing things like chains. These are devils of infirmity. The Lord is asking me to just stretch my hand. Please just allow me to do my madness with God here and let the Lord set these people free. Please bring them out. We're hurrying up now in the name of Jesus. Karu Salatu Ziata. Kariza Hashalambarita Suba Haseketa. I place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact. Every planting that is not of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, be free from it now. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on one of the ushering ladies. One of these ladies with the jerseys. I'm seeing an anointing. I know you are ministering, but this is a miracle God is bringing for you, for your family. One of the ushering ladies. I don't know whether they are inside, outside. I'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies. This is, this is liberty that God is bringing right now. Shalus Karita Hasubadia. In the name of Jesus, my dear, look at me. Shame and reproach is living your life now. Shame and reproach is living your life now. The garment of shame and reproach is living your life now. Why is this gentleman here? You are not the anointing outside? Come. Hold my hands in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Come, you li lifting your hands, run. Come, your time of change has come. Where are you coming from? It's, it's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. That's why you are here. Do you know me? That's why I'm saying you just relax. You were in the crowd and God brought you here. Do you know why God brought you here? Because things are not working at all in your family. God needs to turn things around. If I don't pray for you, what I'm seeing is you are celebrating Christmas morning and blaming people, being the reason why somebody died and another person died because I'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family. But the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. Let me pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. What did you study? Do you have a job? I'm, I'm a copper in Ondo State. I work, I'm, I'm a copper. I'm starting an NGO mm. for HIV in Ondo State. I want to pray for you. The favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil over your family. And in the name of Jesus, I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I want to release this grace for speed. Please, I want you to believe there is a real grace for speed. If you don't have it, you don't have it. Period. There is a grace. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana, Kashina. Hurricane Sarakuna Let's pray. Listen. It's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding. When you understand how speed works, you will never feel bad for any delay in your life. 
is a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny. It works mysteriously. It works by compressing time. 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 Dominion over time is what speed is about. I want to pray for someone now. Sirkin Sarakuna. Father, please, I know that when I begin to pray inside and outside, people will begin to run physically. Honestly, why God does it, I don't know. I think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. But every time I pray this prayer, the hand of God comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically. And I'm going to pray that prayer now. There are people here, God wants to take 10 years and put in one year. God wants to take one year, five years, and put in one month. Is it not written in your Bible that I will restore the years? God does not only restore things, He restores time. Whoever can restore time must be God Himself. Are we together? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice, inside, outside, Parushalata, I declare at the count of three, Father, let this grace for speed, restoration, the mystery that gains time. May that grace fall upon people within this auditorium, overflow, one, two, three, four, online, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace, one, two, three, take that grace now. Take that grace, speed, keparushalata, restoration, I prophesy, pursue, overtake, without fail, recover, pursue, overtake, without fail, recover, in career, pursue, in marriage, pursue, in ministry, pursue, I'm speaking by the Spirit, pursue, overtake, recover, pursue, help that woman please, overtake, recover, financially, pursue, overtake, recover, in your influence, pursue, overtake, recover, in your academics, I pray for students, pursue, overtake, recover, pursue, overtake, recover, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person. By the person's self, mysteriously by the Spirit, there is a prophetic word. And this is how God told me. It's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. It will happen by the Spirit. They will come out by themselves. A strong anointing is not something you can resist. This is a sign and a wonder. How God does it, I don't know. That's why I'm standing. Three more people. It's a wind. It's a force of the spirit. Kai, the wonder walking power of Jesus. How the church has limited him. Limited him. Limited him. Please help them. Make sure they don't injure themselves. Ah, 
Kashina Kamuna Sir King Aljana Yanana Kashina Kashina ones that have come out by the spirit i'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet i'm seeing their legs specifically their legs with chains i lose you now in the name of jesus i release you to destiny i release you to destiny i release you to destiny by the power of the holy ghost no more delay no more retrogression by the spirit of the living god the force of God's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people the power of God is coming on this gentleman this one wearing polo yes my friend the anointing of the spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way and I'm seeing a gate open before you and night is at your back and day is in your front I prophesy to you what I'm seeing and to everyone who connects with this prophecy I take night behind you and I command your morning to stand before you I take night behind you and I command the sun to shine before you in the name of Jesus Christ everyone lift your voice after me in the name of Jesus please shout it say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit I am breaking limits I am moving forward lift your voice and begin to prophesy breaking limits in the name of Jesus I make progress is someone praying I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost breaking limits breaking limits Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke. I just saw fire, just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people, moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How forcible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you. The HICC pastor, a strong anointing, shifting you by the Spirit. Step into a new dimension. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Nanana, Kashina. dimensions we want to pray for the sick now listen very carefully I believe in miracles there are people here who are standing trusting God to touch various aspects of their lives their bodies tied there is still a strong anointing around the minister section here I'm seeing impartations real graces impartations coming by the spirit impartations people are drinking of wines Ima lift your hands I amplify the prophetic upon your life in the name of Jesus I amplify the prophetic in the name of Jesus hold your hands two of you 
please help them. Take that place in the name of Jesus. Amplify the grace. You step into new dimensions in the spirit. The spirit and the power of the word. Your words from today will be like fire. Fire. Refine us fire. Dan, come. Hold my hands. Grace is given for you to rise. No more delay. I place a ladder before you and I shift you by the Spirit to the amazement of many. May your life change, change like day and night. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise. Let's stretch our hands here. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time and the openness of the vessel. But that every time, this is not a ritual, it's a revelation to come before the God who can answer. Listen, there are things here written that are death sentences. There are things written here that will take only God to provide a miracle for there are things written here that are age-long captivities some of them even predate our coming to the earth but there is a name that is above every other name the bible says wherefore god hath so highly exalted him and given him an office a name a title the bible says that at the mention of that name everything in the earth in heaven under the earth will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that jesus is lord even to the glory of the father i cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this this is not a ritual there is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here and one more time and the last time really for this year I want us to agree in the next two, three minutes. Wherever you are, just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the Egyptian that I see today, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I will see them no more forever. Is someone praying? Every evil report, orchestrations of darkness, if it had a beginning tonight is the end pray don't worry for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray
Jesus, we decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Father, we bring before you every situation here. Marital situations, financial situations, spiritual situations, career situations. In the name of Jesus, we bring them under the covering of the blood. Every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain by the blood of the eternal covenant we nullify that access now in jesus name father by this prayer we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against god's people we declare them nullified forever i stand as one sent by the spirit of the lord and i declare receive strange testimonies before this year runs out in the name of jesus let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies <laughs> testimonies are largely answered through men when it leaves heaven most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form there are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form i'm praying every human agent that must partner with god partner with the systems of god to see to it that this request is granted we compel them by the spirit to do so now in the name of jesus Every death sentence written here in the name of Jesus, we cancel it now. Amen. Hallelujah! Let it be done, so shall it be. We establish it in the name of Jesus. Now, we want to round up by prophesying over our lives. This for me, you've heard me say, this is the best part of the service because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life please i want you to agree with me every proclamation that will come receive it by faith believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it are we together in the name of jesus christ delay comes to an end now Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. Karus Kabarada Shilatadia. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then for you and the next dimension I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho I command every world go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus And 
the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to, the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter, I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you. In the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous. Not more favored, more honorable. Many people do not know what honor is. The fortitude for preference. There is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd, places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you, reward you, recognize that which God has invested within you. Listen to me. There are many gifted people. The eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen. Is a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, What shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what He is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning. Leave your mind and trust God. It is within His power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now. Prepared.
appeared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning, the sound of pain and anguish by the Spirit of the living God, let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough, we call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me, whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me, any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you here who the testimony over your life is about, I declare by the spirit of God a restoration happens now thou shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked i pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life go from glory to glory the remaining weeks of this year I'm speaking to you may they be weeks of strange wonders and finally let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of jesus
finally, anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death, to see to it that you will not finish this year well, to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus for all of you who have traveled from far whether from another nation right down here from another city right down here you will go back with strange testimonies you will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here in the name of Jesus very quickly you are here under the sound of my voice please let's minimize movement and you are saying apostle I want you to give me an opportunity to give my life to Jesus Christ you are here and you are saying apostle I've seen the wonder working power of God I need Jesus as a matter of urgency in my life hear me the Bible says whosoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away praise the Lord whether you are here inside or outside there are people here who are saying apostle i need jesus there are others who are saying apostle i need restoration of my relationship with jesus it is never too late to reconnect with him now whether you are here let's minimize movement whether you are here inside or outside we cannot close this meeting this is the last miracle service for the year wherever you are whether you are rededicating your life or you are handing your life over to Jesus for the first time, inside, outside, overflow, one, two, three, I want you to run and come and stand right in front of me here. Sustain the boldness to come. Don't be ashamed. Let's celebrate them as they come, Koinonia. Those coming from outside, please clear the way for them. Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Keep coming Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way The Bible says for God so loved you and me He proved his love by giving not taking giving his one and only begotten son now the firstborn of we the begotten that whosoever will believe in him should not perish is a law but have the way the life of god you have come many of you making this decision for the first time many of you rededicating your lives to jesus listen it doesn't matter why you came i want you to know that there is a god who loves you desperately unashamedly and is ready to give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say this very passionately say this truthfully from the depth of your heart say lord jesus please if you're joining us quickly come quickly come find a space and pray this prayer from the depth of your heart say with me again lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe join them quickly say i believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin tonight I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight until forever I reign in life I am a child of God I belong to the family of God 
Amen. Keep your hands lifted while I pray for you. Father, thank you. You have brought these ones by your spirit. You are able to save to the uttermost, scripture says. Thank you for drawing these ones. I decree and declare by the spirit of God that every legal stand that the devil has against them is nullified tonight by the blood. I declare by the authority of scripture your sins be forgiven and I declare that the Lord grants you a new beginning from tonight. I declare that you go forward ever and backward never. The power to love and serve Jesus is released upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now very quickly, there are a number of you. Um, there are two gentlemen waving their hands. You can follow this aisle or this one, whichever will take you to the same place. Please follow them as we celebrate them. There will be a group of people to welcome you. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.